In this video, we will show you how to use and how to set up the induction heating templates. First, we need to choose induction heating templates from preprocessing. And we click gear button to enter the geometric setup window. First, we need to define the common properties such as base unit and mesh density, for both of which we will leave the default values as they are. Now, let's switch to the workpiece. To define workpiece, we have a couple of different shapes available. We will stick with the billet and define the geometrical properties of it. As soon as I'm done, it, has been it is being visualized in the preview window. Now let's do the same for the inductor. As you can see, there are a couple of different choices. We will go with the rectangular profile with flux concentrator around it. And again, we need to define the geometrical properties for both inductor and flux concentrator. And as soon as I'm done, it is being visualized in the preview window. When the geometry has been set up, we click go to physics to enter the physics setup window. Here we will define the physical parami parameters of the, uh, of the simulation. We start with the global, global parameters such as frequency, heating time and time step. For workpiece we only need to define the material and the heat exchange on the workpiece surface. We will do this through convection and radiation both, as the temperatures are not so high. Under winding we only need to define the current. Under concentrator we only need to define the material. And for air we do not need to define anything at all, as everything has been defined for us beforehand. When the simulation has been set up, we, we simply click run to start the calculation.